So you want to learn arm aiming. Well, I did too. And so I worked a little bit on it and figured out some techniques um, very similar to my aiming guide, um, sensitivity guide or whatever that I did on Strat Chat. I'm doing this as just a regular coaching. Um, separate from Strat Chat, Strat Chat's gonna move a little more towards um, mid coaching, more discussionary and kind of how the name implies um, with a little more ideas being in place. Um, this is a lot more of coaching. So if you want some coaching, this is where you have it. And today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to learn arm aiming it. That's where the key is. I'm teaching you how to learn. I'm not teaching you how to do it, I'm teaching you how to learn because it's very different for each person. Now the first thing we need to talk about is sensitivity. And this is, some people say that it's like, whatever is your most comfortable for you. Um, a little tidbit, every sensitivity will be comfortable for you every single time you practice. And I cover this in the um, sensitivity um, guide, our, the aiming guide overall from Strat Chat. Um, but the main idea is every single sensitivity you are comfortable with. But what you have to do is you have to practice over and over and over again every single time you play. So you know how you have to have that warm up period um, for aiming? That's because of this. You need to change your sensitivity to a different way. So a couple of guides to sensitivity is first you want to be able to put your mouse on the on one side of your uh, mouse pad and move it all the way over to the other side of the mouse pad and get about 180. I like to go a little bit above. Um, you don't have to. Um, honestly, as long as you can get within the 180 turn um, without lifting up your mouse, that's perfect. Don't need to worry about anything else. Um, but you have to understand, we'll also cover when when arm aiming's good or when not, and why a lot of people don't arm aim. Um, yeah, mat size as well, you want a big mat. Um, my mat at the moment, I'll say I have about, I would say four, 16 inches, 16 inches of space. Um, so for your um, mouse pad, you can get um, different cutouts, um, go to, I believe art stores have them. Um, that's a good option. Um, also, you'll have some like gaming stores. I personally use a um, card game mouse um, pad and it's big enough so if any of you used to play like Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon way back in the day or still do um, then you can use one of those I just use one of the ones that that I've won like back in the past but um, yeah so that's with the mouse um, now with rotation so a lot of the arm aiming has to do with um, you're not completely arm aiming so some people when they are playing they only arm aim so that that's for example like with McCree so people you'll see them go boom 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 with arm aiming which you can do that um, but the most you'll actually see because honestly arm aiming at this I'll actually go to McCree so I can show you um, arm aiming arm aiming from this distance is a little insane because you have to make so small of changes if if I told you to only use your arm and try to like duct tape your wrist together that'd be stupid because you would have to hit these from like arm aiming and at that moment you start going into the not aiming but moving into position like this and that's it and it's just not good um, what you want to do is you want to have a fluid change in between each one so like right here I'm moving with my wrist well with my fingers actually so I'm making slight um, adjustments. I'm taking my thumb and I'm pushing on the side of my mouse. And then um, my the palm, the top, the rightmost palm on my hand, if you're a uh, left-hander, which I am, but it's kind of awkward. Um, so I'm actually using right-handed at the moment. Um, kind of ambidextrous, kind of weird, but yeah. Um, if you're left-handed, redu just reverse this. But I'm using my thumb to push to the right. And then I'm using the right side palm of my hand to push to the left. And you don't even have to move. Um, in, act in actuality, I actually anchor my pinky down to the um, table. And this allows me to do this while keeping good position. Um, you might not do this this way, but this is just a technique I do. 
that's from like farther ranges where you're not moving that much. Um, the next thing to do is then when you're getting closer and you need to make more changes, and this is wrist aiming. Um, this is what probably most of you who are watching this video are familiar with. And a lot of the times wrist aiming actually comes with having a higher sensitivity than you're supposed to um, because of just right here. Um, so yeah, I'm wrist aiming all the way. And by far, no means am I the best aimer. Um, but yeah, this is help. Now this is where arm aiming is going to come into play. Is, is where you have to make these wide turns. And that's pretty much why you use arm aiming is for that because if you're trying to use wrist aiming here, you have to you have to like drop the mouse, <laughs> lift up the mouse a lot and turn it around like this. But with arm aiming, you can do this. So it allows you a higher degree of rotation, and that's why a lot of people use it. Now with your sensitivity, I I suggest a gradual decrease um, because what's going to happen is um, if you just drop your sensitivity to where you think you, you're going to be, or where you want to get, yeah, that works, but it's not what you're comfortable with. Um, what you want to do is you want to do the test. Um, IOS Ducks made a good video about this. Um, I did a, the sensitivity guide I did um, helped out with that, the aiming guide. Um, but the main idea is what you want to do is you want to go in for about 10 minutes um, with with a, your sensitivity. So you take your sensitivity. I'll show you mine. Um, I have 3.28. So what I would do is I would multiply that number by 1.5, get a number, and then also multiply this number by 0.5, and then get a number. And then I take that number, um, both of those numbers, and I put them in as a sensitivity, and I go in and um, play on that. What you want to do is you want to have a higher DPI because of pixel skipping stuff. So try to adjust your in-game instead of your actual mouse control. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it with that. But you basically play till um, a certain point. You pick which one you like better. If it's if you're getting like really close to old ones you've covered then I suggest um, doing 1.25 and 0.75 as your um, factors for multiplication um, to change your sensitivity. Um, and then you pick one, you um, move to that next one. And if I remember right, you take the average of the two and you move to that one and do the, do the same thing over again. So you would take your original one and whatever of the lower ones you picked and then go from there course my McCree is not doing too good today yeah not by far I'm not the best at aiming but I can help out because I've started um, arm aiming a lot more and taught myself to arm aim um, but yeah so basically arm aiming um, is fine point all that kind of stuff gives you a wider range of motion so I like to consider it as a second sensitivity level because if you're at a low sensitivity um, a lot of the things, so like on console, if you are at a low sensitivity and you try to move, you're moving like this. But on PC, what you can do is you can change your range of motion from wrist aiming for your low sensitivity. Well, your finger aiming, then wrist aiming, and then you go into arm aiming. And so the best way, and I'll also mention that when I'm wrist aiming, um, the bottom of my palm is resting on the table. Also a good way to do this is because a lot of you will, will like go, but my arm's always resting on the table and I can't lift up. So a good thing to do as well is to move your mat all the way to the back of the table and then leave your, your hand um like falling off pretty much you don't you don't want your hand to even touch and so if you do this also scoop back your chair um you can see how i'm just only arm aiming and you can also see how it's kind of insane like look i can do it but it's super hard and they're really far away so yeah i'm only arm aiming now because i can't rest my hand 
once I rest my hand like this, I'm wrist aiming and then finger aiming, finger aiming, wrist aiming. Nope, I lifted up my arm, see? <laughs> but yeah, you have to practice that transition and you'll just like notice it is someone's right behind you and you'll just immediately go boom and lift up your your hand. And it's just, you have to get that practice undergoing. Um, and I don't suggest forcing yourself to do arm aiming. Just put yourself in the position where arm aiming is better for you and you'll just naturally start doing it most of the time. Um, basically, it does take a lot of practice. I've been practicing for a few months, I think three months. It's taken me to get this up and going. Um, you have to get your sensitivity correct. And so how I, how I said in my um, aiming guide is gradually decreasing your sensitivity because you don't want to go too drastic because your body is going to shift in what you want to do. And a lower sensitivity is always going to feel worse or a higher sensitivity is always going to feel worse. But you go in the direction where you're naturally wanting to go and then keep double checking that. So like, for example, my, I over rotate, which means that I still have room to adjust. And I know that my sensitivity is too high at the moment, but I've been decreasing it over and over and over again. And it's just because I've been getting used to this lower sensitivity and, um, and then I want to go lower. So that's how you deal with that. Um, don't worry about, uh, oh, I can't do a lower sensitivity. Just do it gradually. It's pretty simple. Um, another good way to do this is to practice on a higher sensitivity character. So um, the suggestions are Genji, Farah, Tracer. These are people that thrive on having higher sensitivity. Um, even Lucio can, um, but you don't have to. Tracer's probably the better one, and I'll show you why. And what I want you to do is go into the practice range and just practice over dashing and then turning around. So like that. So basically you're gonna you're gonna wanna rotate faster and then you start using your arm more. And then just use your arm to readjust. Perfect. I used wrist aiming there, it's okay. It's not a complete transition, and that's the big thing that people um, don't really realize with arm aiming is this is not a 100% transition. And it shouldn't be. You don't have to. But if you do feel more comfortable arm aiming only, then you can do that, and I, I wouldn't hold anything against you. It's pretty, it's pretty up to you. Um, but... Yeah, main reason why people do arm aiming, and I imagine you probably already know since you're watching this video, is just just because they say it's healthier for you, but it also gives you a wider range of motion, like I said before, um, and more v variety on your sensitivity almost. Um, other ways to do this as well, and I'll play another character, um, Soldier. Let's do Soldier. Um, practicing in close quarters also helps. Um, so if you... If you're basically playing snipers only from long range, it's going to be hard to get you into arm aiming. Um, just because you don't need to move that much. But if you're closer, you have to do that kind of stuff. But yeah, pretty much that kind of stuff is what you want. Um, another way to do this is practicing 180 shots. Um, so if you are playing like Widowmaker or stuff like that, um, a good thing to do is to do this. So you want to practice your... So I'm only doing arm aiming at the moment. You can see that my sensitivity is a little higher than it should be at the moment. But um, yeah, just try, just try your 180 shots. So let me see if I can do this. It takes a little bit because of the scope. So that's difficult, I understand that. But yeah, try to change your targets really fast if you're doing a sniper and have them farther apart. See, like that. So stand here and just take shots and then 
um, turn around and hit that guy, or turn around and hit this guy. So, boom. And then you'll just get into that whole fluid motion. So, arm aiming isn't one where you have to actually practice against actual players, because all you just need to do is get that motion into play. And then you're good. Ah. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it with um, all the shots. If you can't get yourself to use the arm aiming, where you're practicing forever and you're just not adjusting, um, and you're just constantly doing the wrist aiming, um, the main problems that you'll have is moving, is your wrist stuck to the, to the table. Like, this is my range of motion with my wrist stuck to the table. But what I want to do is I want to move back. So have it so that the back of your hand is resting off the table. And what's going to happen is you try to move and you try to anchor and it's just going to feel awkward. So your body is just going to naturally rotate your arm. Um, the other way that this could have a problem is this your sensitivity is too high and doing this does not feel natural. So if you have a high sensitivity, arm aiming is pointless. And it's just because you're not making that kind of rotation in order for you to use your arm. So people who usually um, don't use arm aiming have a higher sensitivity and they just don't, they just can't get themselves into it and it makes 100% sense. Why would you, why would you um, try to arm aim with a high sensitivity because you'll over aim all the time. Um, and then finally, the hardest to learn is to practice the transition and a lot of this is impulse based. So, um, the biggest advice for this is to get yourself to not think about how to aim because then it's just going to be insane because you're going to mix up stuff and you need to honestly be thinking of other things besides when to lift up your arm and stuff. But what you want to do is you want to put yourself in positions where you want to move your mouse. So like right here, I only needed to use the wrist. So I only use the wrist. So just get used to your range of motion. And then if you want to get like, boom, arm aiming. So just set yourself up to, um, to get into those positions to use your arm. And you'll just, it'll just get more natural. It'll be a little funky, but it'll just get more natural over time. And sometimes you could just easily pick it up. Um, some people probably would be better at arm aiming, but they haven't yet because of sensitivity stuff. So pretty simple, um, pretty easy. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. Um, please tell me if you have any questions. Um, if you're having any further issues with arm aiming, just come back to this video and um, put it in the comment sections. Um, but I think I covered most of the issues you guys will run through. Um, character basics. Um, basically make it so that you need to rotate that um, degree um, and identify when arm aiming's good and when's wrist aiming good and put yourself into positions where you have to do one or the other. Um, but if it's not feeling comfortable, there's something wrong with system-wise or just practice. Um, because yeah, it might be a little funky in the beginning and not comfortable, but you just gotta set it up. Um, also, Matt might do a great deal, actually, now that I think about it. Um, having your mat a little too small would have an issue, or if you had, had like, um, one of those like mats with a wrist rest um, will change how it deals because you'll anchor to the um, pad a lot more. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Um, but besides that, um, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Remember as always, Rubidechi, sign on, have a nice day. Bye.